Hello friends, today we are going to see demo on Snowflake authentication policies. So if you have not seen my recent blog on authentication policy, I would suggest you to please have a look because I have captured more details and theory over there. So let's quickly move to the demo in this. Uh, right. Okay. All right. So for this demo, I have, I'm just going to use the account admin role. Uh, but you can use any custom role with the required privilege to create the authentication policy as well for the apply authentication policy. So what are the required privilege can be seen on my blog. So for this demo, I'm going to create out a database called authentication policy DB and going to create a dummy uh, schema inside that, which is demo. I'm going to create a dummy user called Rajiv and set the email ID for that particular user. So let me just quickly go and assign him the sysadmin role so that it can connect. So now if I go and see if user has been created or not. So let me just quickly execute this and see that user has been created. Email ID has been set. Default role also has been set. So everything looks okay. So let me just quickly go here and try to connect. So this is my organization and account. Let me just quickly uh, connect and see whether I'm able to connect or not before we start with any other for the demo. So let me just quickly gain the password. So hopefully I will be able to connect now. Yep, so you can see that I am able to connect. Let's just quickly exit. All right, so now I'm exit from the replay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two different authentication policy. One is on the account level, which I'm going to set on the account level, which will allow everybody to connect using Snowflake web UI and the authentication method would be the password. So basically username and password for web UI. Other authentication policy I'm going just going to create for the user. And for that, I'm only allow them to connect using Snow SQL and uh, using username and password, not from the any other method. So let me just quickly first set the authentication policy. So to create the authentication, it's very simple. Create authentication policies, uh, name of the authentication policy, the client type is basically whatever you want. Snowflake web UI I have chosen. Authentication method is password. I can use the other other provision allowed uh, method as well. Uh, for more detail, you have to read my blogs. Then I will alter the account and set the authentication policy at the account level. So it says like it's already authentication policy is applied. So now quickly verify whether it has been applied properly on the account level or not. So I can see that a policy DB name, policy name, policy reference entity name, it's account name and the domain is account. So that means it has been successfully applied to the account. Now I will create the similar authentication policy for the user where we allow only to connect using Snow SQL and password. And then I will apply at the user which I created Rajiv. So now this is being created and applied to the user Rajiv. Quickly go and connect and verify whether the authentication policy has been applied to the user or not. So I can go here on the right and key you can see that the reference domain is user and reference entity name is Rajiv. That means it has been applied to the user so i can also use so authentication policy to list on all the authentication policy in the database and schema so i can see there are two authentication policy one is on the account level the user level both has been uh, listed down using so authentication policy now we'll quickly go and uh, try to connect using web ui so let me just quickly go here and um, we'll try to connect quickly from here let me just grab the password from here so username is Rajiv. Let me just quickly go here and <clears throat> try to provide the username and password. Let's see how it goes. R A G I V, and then I will provide the password. Now I will try to connect. It says like authentication attempt rejected by the current authentication policy, which means like Rajiv can't connect using uh, Web UI because that is restricted by authentication policy and I'm only allowed to connect using Snow SQL. So let's just quickly go here and try to reconnect and see whether I'm able, still able to connect or it is also blocked because of authentication policy. So it will quickly key in the password. 
let me see if we allow me to connect so you can see that i am able to connect without any issue just quickly let me just do the exit so now i'm able to connect and i have just exit from the so now if i go and try to connect using uh, web ui with any other user other than this so let me just quickly connect using my existing user so you can see that i am able to connect using my existing user that means it is not blocking other user because it is taking the policy from the account level instead of user level so if you have the policy applied on account and user level so the user level account pol uh, authentication policy will get the preference on top of account level policy so that is your end to end policy uh, end to end demo for today and hope you like the demo and if you like the demo please subscribe to my channel thank you